Hello everyone and welcome to the Wolfside channel with an interesting topic, the content density in Mortal Online 2. I mean, just for example, if you look on the Mortal Online 2 map, a link in the description, by the way. So on this map, there are the spawners marked and um, some dungeons and stuff like that. And uh, towns are marked on this map, but the points of interest are not marked on this map. And Star Wars is implementing more and more and more and more points of interest, but the map is so huge um, that if they add 30 points of, of interest, for example, uh, they did in the last patch or even more, I don't know, or, or 100, the uh, patch before, and it still feels, if you're, if you're riding through the central step, it still feels very empty. So if you want to ride from um, Meduli to Morincourt, um, then you encounter maybe three, four points of interest, maybe if you're lucky, if you're not taking the direct route. And for a one hour travel, that is for many people not enough. I mean, in the forums, in the Steam reviews, on Reddit, in uh, my YouTube comments, nearly everywhere people were complaining about the content density and uh, that it's for the size of the map, it's not enough. But here comes the tricky part. If they uh, really make a hardcore um, content density like in Skyrim or something like that, then where can you build something? I mean, the territorial control is a big patch and will be a big patch and people were building, will building cities and will build uh, big uh, stuff and uh, and farms and, and, and breeding grounds and mines and whatever stuff. Yeah, they will they build huge, huge um, structures and they need uh, space. And um, yeah, that is also maybe a problem, but uh, I mean, the map is so big. I mean, I, I, even if they, if they would... Uh, Implement another 100 points of, of interest. I don't know. Uh, it, it would still be uh, still be good to go. I mean, the population is not so big that we really need uh, big empty land masses. Uh, I mean, if if uh, 10,000 players would be online non-stop, and then maybe we need uh, more empty space. I mean, just for example, in Model on and One, the Haven um, that they implemented uh, uh, too late. Um, but uh, the haven uh, there uh, was very dense and uh, had uh, a lot of content in that and the, the people liked the density of the content and they wished that Merland would have the same content density. But now in Mortal Kombat 2 it's more difficult for Star Wars of course because uh, you have six times the land mass or something like that. And um, yeah, and the uh, content is still missing a lot. A lot of content, a lot of uh, mobs is still missing. And also some bigger stuff like uh, the demon uh, stuff, like the, the whole uh, demon uh, portal and where the demons were running around and stuff like that. I mean, uh, this is also still missing in the central step where um, there's some small points of interest, but it's, it's uh, I don't know, you look at this uh, this empty plane and there's like fucking nothing that, that, that catches your eye or is fucking interesting. But here comes the interesting part. Star Vault is already developing more points of interest. And that really interests me. <clears throat> okay, yeah, uh, bad jokes aside. For example, a point of interest can be big like this. For example, a mine somewhere, maybe a small hut, maybe some small stuff. Maybe someone is camping there and, st and stuff like that. Um, a point of interest can be uh, anything. I've talked to many people about the points of interest and many had great experiences uh, with that. Um, but uh, nearly everyone agreed on um, there is not enough loot there, there's nothing really interesting there. Why to look there? I mean, the first time you see that, uh, the first time you go in, for example, this mine here, uh, I mean, would, would in this mine be, a, uh, if in this mine would be a Gabor node, a Tefra node, Glimmer Rock, Seolite Rock, something, something interesting. Then it would be a point of interest. I mean, yeah, it's it's interesting if you look at the first time, if you discover such a mine or if, if you discover something, that's interesting. But many were saying, why should I go there the second time? Why? There's There are often some uh, chests, some barrels, and there's often mostly useless stuff in there. This feedback comes from players that are playing longer than three months. Some new players were completely okay with uh, the loot tables in uh, these points of interest. So that is also good to know. But maybe some unique resources at some places at some point of interest would be great. But now much more interesting. Um, what Henrik thinks about the content density, what Star Wars will do in the future. So let's have a look. Return off is the vast emptiness of the map can travel for an hour fill and no point of interest. Emaru Sukanji. 
Yes, exactly. We identify this as well. So in one point, we wanted to make a believable world that also had quite a few empty spaces because we, we want to let players to build cities and houses over time and they will need a lot of space because when the space runs out, you can't build houses and cities anymore. And that will happen eventually, especially when TC kicks on. And so obviously at the same time, we can't just make a very empty field after field empty boring world same thing goes as we didn't want to have the same approach as money many theme park games like in world of warcraft you go from one small area level 10 maps you go just a few hundred meters to the right of that area and you are in the level 50 creatures and you just continue from zone to zone to zone so there's always something and there's new creature in every new zone it's not that type of game you know um, we have a more open believable realistic world and it just also looks much more realistic and you play it in first person so you can really immerse yourself in that world but yes one of the big feedback was just like you said many new players are obviously so used to having a lot of stuff going on when venturing around so we we try to push that much further to give a lot more of that so we actually have finished as of today 93 i think new points of interest and they're really awesome from small to huge really cool stuff with stores behind them and it's gonna be cool when you see what that's all about and there's also obviously different rewards behind that and danger so those will come also in upcoming uh, polished patches so you will get content like that along with bug fixes and that is also to uh, fix that part to make sure that especially you know when a new player that doesn't really know what's going on in his world i want to explore I'm, I'm i'm interested we want to make sure that they will find a lot of cool stuff like there can be a fire on the horizon smoke there can be blood, blood trails there can be many different things that you know pulls you into the world and you will start to see that wherever you go you may run into these er things and that should hopefully fix exactly that problem so that sounds awesome and I'm really looking forward what they have planned for Zaduka. I mean, when they release Zaduka, I mean, it's an empty desert, so they don't uh, need to place points of interest there. Uh, some points of interest would be good, but uh, not the whole fucking desert full of point, full of points of interest, because that's the reason why it's a fucking desert. But another cool system would be if we were in the desert and uh, we uh, the compass uh, won't work. But uh, th that is a topic for other videos, sorry. It's just important that Star World really gets some more resources and some more stuff in the game that they can have more var variety on the points of interest. So please leave your opinion in the comments. Would be awesome if you have a, an idea for a point of interest or if you if you like them now, if, the, if you like more and stuff like that, please comment. Also, please like and subscribe. Would be awesome. And ra ring the bell. So special thanks to all the supporters, of course. Carmel, Professor O, Slum of Gaming, Ronus, Patanax, Cologne, Bulldog, you and all the others, of course. So always remember to point of interest hard and party hard and see you all next time. Goodbye.